Kurt, you did it. You are the expert of experts with a total of $50. So now you get to answer the hardest question in the world. You're going to start by telling us the percentage of your total that you'll be playing for. If you get the question wrong, know that you're going to lose that much of your money. If you get it right, of course, you win that much. You've had time to think about your wager. What percentage of your total do you want to put at risk? 95. 95%. Wow. That's almost $50. That's true. All right. Here comes the hardest question in the world, Kurt. It's gettable, but only by the most knowledgeable expert. Okay. Kurt, in the season one episode, Diversity Day, yeah. what race is written on the index cards on these six characters' foreheads? Six. Six. I'll give you the characters. Don't worry. Okay. Pam, Kevin, Angela, Dwight, Oscar, and Michael. Pam, Kevin, Angela, Dwight, Oscar, and Michael. Diversity Day. What's written? What race is written on the index cards of these six characters? Can you say the names again? Pam. Kevin, Angela, Dwight, Oscar, Michael. Kevin, Asian. Man. This, this is like the hardest question in the world. It, yeah, we should have called it that. Yeah. Uh, ten seconds okay. left. Okay. Um, I, I think Stanley's wearing Martin Luther King or something. I can't name him. Kelly was Indian. Well, okay, so it's Pam. Pam I mean, their card said Indian. She's. All right. Pam said Jewish. Okay. Kevin said Italian. Angela, Jamaican. Dwight, Asian. Oscar, Eskimo. And Michael, Martin Luther King Jr. Kurt, you did really well. And for that, you get to leave with $2.50. Yeah. Well done, my friend. $2.50. Okay, Travis, uh, tough going today in Stephen King, but you ran into yep. some two really great contestants. They were uh, amazing. And you knew a lot of stuff in Stephen King. Let's did see I? if you know. You did, yes. Listen, certainly you're the expert in the room on Stephen King. Okay. Uh, let's see uh, if you can answer the hardest question in the world. All right. What are the seven Stephen King novels published under the name Richard Bachman? Oh. Uh, oh, darn it. There's one that he did that I don't remember. Okay, so, uh, Running Man, Thinner, um, uh, Blaze, uh, The Regulators, wait, is that four or five? That's four that you've named. Okay, four, um... Running Man and Thinner, and then there's two more that I know, uh, but there was going to be a seventh one that I didn't know anyway, so. Uh, you missed Rage, The Long Walk. The Rage and the Long Walk, yep. And, and then Road Work. The Road Work is the one I wouldn't have known. Pablo, a lot of fans <laughs> thought that you were going to be the one who was uh. the expert of experts. Let's give you your hardest question okay. in the world. Pablo, one thing that sets Mariah Carey apart from many other R&B artists is that she composes most of her songs. On her 11 studio albums, not counting her two Christmas albums, there are only 10 songs Mariah doesn't receive a composer credit on. We've heard the three from Glitter, name six of the other seven. Their 10th studio album, so that would be... That wouldn't be equal to square. Be that would be equal to MC squared. Okay, um, that she doesn't receive a composer credit. God, I honestly have no idea. I'm gonna guess and go with um, I'll be loving you long time. OOC. I want to say cruise control. Um, probably migrate. There's seven? Yeah, we, uh, we, I want you to name six of the other seven. There are seven. You've named four. Um, I don't think I still have. Um, love Story? Well, I will read them to you now. Okay. Love Story I wasn't one them. of them. That's Without you, open arms, the beautiful ones, against all odds, bringing on the heart break. Bye bye, and I want to know what love is. Bye -bye, <laughs> know what love is. <laughs> I'm a consultant for nonprofits. But 
I'm an expert at Superman movies. I'm an actor and a drummer, but I'm an expert on Kiss. I'm a film preservationist, but I'm an expert at Tintin. 